Okay, this is what's fascinating about that. You, you've got to understand context and image to do anything with that passage at all. Seal in the New Testament is almost always an invisible thing. If, if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, you're promised in the New Testament that you are sealed by the Holy Spirit, sealed for the day of redemption, which means you're permanently covered and protected. Same way we use shrink wrapped might be a good way to put it in English. And, and, and it's an invisible thing. It's very possible that this may not be, it may be, and that's fine, but because of that broad context, it may be that this is an invisible thing. It's not necessarily seen by human beings. Um, and, and forehead as well, let's go in an even broader context. Okay, in the Old Testament, Moses tells the people of Israel, remember God's word. And how does he put that? He uses a beautiful little figure of speech and he says, you should have this word on your foreheads. Now, a, a very small group of Orthodox Jews to this day actually bind little phylacteries on their foreheads because they think he meant that in, in that sense. And, and he certainly meant it, but most Bible scholars look at that and say, no, it, it, that's a figure of speech. That's not to duck the reality, but it's a figure of speech to say, let this be forefront in your thinking. The forefront of your thinking is that, is that you're thinking about God's Word. Okay, so take those two images together with this context and this context, and it could be that there's an actual seal. We have no idea what it would look like. It's physical, but it's very possible that this is the Holy Spirit shrink-wrapping, protecting these people, and especially protecting their minds. And when you look at what's going to go down in the world after this, that has merit. So chew on that and see what you think.